I have a question for you. What's the best flight controller software on the market right now? If you were to build your next drone or airplane, what would you use? I just would like to know. But let's go back to the original question. What is the best flight controller software on the market? And the answer is that, well, it's complicated. Currently, we have three major competitors. Ardupilot, Betaflight and iNav. They differ and they differ a lot. In terms of features, characteristics, flight performance and general ease of use. Plus, RC and FPV, it's not only 5-inch drones. We have airplanes, we have rovers, we have boats, we have 7 inches, 3 inches, the full plethora of different remote controlled craft. In this video, let's compare Ardupilot, Betaflight and INAF in 8 different categories. For each of those categories, every flight controller software will be able to get from 3 to 0 stars. 3 stars means it's perfect, 2 stars mean it's okay, 1 well you can do it and 0 is uh uh you better not go that road because most probably you will suffer. Category number 1 is easy start and user friendliness. Over here Ardupilot gets 1 star, both Betaflight and INAV get two stars. Let's be honest, this is not a simplest hobby ever and you do have to have some knowledge and you do have to read and watch tutorials before you begin. So you will just have to learn. However, both Betaflight and INAV allow you to start faster, simpler and with less stress than it is in case of the Ardo Pilot. In case of the Ardo Pilot, you need a PhD to set everything up. Category number two is the hardware support. How easy is to get a flight controller that will run the flight controller software you want to use? Over here the obvious winner is the beta flight with three stars because almost everything can run beta flight. Second place with two stars goes to INAV because it can run quite a lot of the flight controllers that Betaflight have. And finally, one star goes to Ardupilot, mostly because it's quite picky in terms of the hardware it can run. There's no Ardupilot for F722s and there is no Ardupilots for F411s. The third category is freestyle and racing, usually with the 5 or 3 inch mini quads. Over here, Ardu Pilot gets 0 stars. Technically, it's maybe even possible, but nobody does it and there's a reason. So if your goal is to do a freestyle and racing, then uh-uh, rather do not go with Ardu Pilot. Betaflight, like expected, gets of course 3 stars. Because, well, it's just an industry standard. And finally, INAF gets two stars. Why two? Because INAF also can do freestyle and racing. INAF flight performance is comparable with beta flight. Don't believe me? Try yourself. However, let's be honest, it lacks some of the bells and whistles that are used especially during the FPV racing. Maybe they are not strictly required, but are useful so only. Two stars for INAF. Category number four is airplanes. Over here, both Ardupilot and INAF get three stars. If you want to build an RC airplane with a flight controller, then both Ardupilot and INAF will just give you the best experience. Just like that. On the other hand, Betaflight is not really for airplanes. So over here, Betaflight gets zero stars. Technically, it is possible to build an airplane with Betaflight. However, you will not be able to use basically any of the Betaflight features. All that Betaflight can provide for the airplanes is RC signal translation, mixer and basic stabilization. The fifth category is cinematography. And by that I mean a set of features that a flight controller provides that can help you to record good quality video from the air. You know, all this cine lifter with the expensive camera use cases. Over here both Ardupilot and INAF get 3 stars because they provide just all the set of the required features. Good stabilization, gentle return to home, ability to park your camera in the air, you know, the most obvious and useful stuff. INAF powered cine lifters are used to film really big 
Hollywood productions. If people are willing to put an Ari Alexa Mini on the INAF powered craft, that means they kinda have to trust INAF. By the way, check how much is Ari Alexa plus lenses and you will know what I mean by that. By comparison, Betaflight will get only one star because it lacks advanced GPS features. There is no position home, there is no advanced return to home and safe landing, so yes, you can do it, but as long as you keep it in acro only. Talking about GPS nicely segues us into the navigation and autonomous flight. Over here, Ardu Pilot gets three stars, INAV gets two stars, and Beta Flight one more time gets zero stars. The only navigation slash autonomous capability of Beta Flight is the GPS rescue, but it should not really be treated as the navigation or autonomous flight function. It's just a GPS rescue. While in case of the Ardu Pilot and INAV, you can have fully autonomous flight based on the waypoints, execute actions on the waypoints, you know, full blown autonomous navigation. Category number seven is not really connected with drones or airplanes. It is the possibility to use this software on rovers and boats. Over here, Ardu Pilot has no direct competition because it can do all. INAF can do most of the things. I mean, you can have rover, both, usually autonomous, able to run GPS missions and so on. However, it will lack some of the features. Like for example, there is no position hold in case of the boats. And final category is VTOL, vertical takeoff or landing. All those fancy flying things that can take off vertically, then transit into the horizontal flight, pretend for a minute it is an aeroplane, then go back into the multi-rotor mode and land exactly where it started. Ardu Pilot, three stars. INAF, one star, because the VTOL support just appeared in INAF, but it's not as advanced as not as mature as in case of the Ardu Pilot, and in case of the Beta Flight, it's zero stars, because Beta Flight cannot do VTOL at all. And by the way, the basic tail seater does not really count as the VTOL. And the results are interesting. First of all, both Ardu Pilot and INAF got 17 stars. So that's a tie. But honestly, if not the obnoxiously bad user interface of the Ardu Pilot, Ardu Pilot definitely would win as the best multi purpose flight controller software. Okay, it's not really suited for the the freestyle or the racing, but it flies and it counts. By the comparison, INAF wins with Ardu Pilot in the few categories. First of all, user friendliness. <sighs> How to say it? Everything is more user-friendly than the Ardu Pilot, so this is kinda obvious. It's also easier to find a hardware that you can run INAF than run with the Ardu Pilot, but unfortunately it loses in some of the categories as well. In contrast to that, the situation of Beta Flight might look bad, because it got only 9 stars. However, when to think about it, the 9 stars of the Beta Flight are mostly because complete lack of the navigation and aeroplane support. If you would count only freestyle racing and in general small mini quads, Beta Flight would definitely win. But let's go back to the original question. Which flight controller software is the best? The answer is it all depends on you. It all depends on you and what you expect. If you only do want to fly freestyle and racing, then well, the choice is obvious. If you want something more advanced or just something different, then you still have the choice between Ardu Pilot and INAF. In some places you will get some, in some places you will lose some, but overall you should choose the flight controller depending on your precise needs. Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, this was the FPV University. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying!